So here is the Apidura Dry. Uh, this is the 14 liter version. <coughs> I think it comes in 11 liters as well. Um, it's very similar style to the other Aperturas, uh, like this Rafa one here. Um, but critically, there are a couple of differences. Uh, one is the seams, right? So here you've got a sewn seam. These are kind of glued uh, seams. They are totally waterproof. And also the material is different. Uh, this is, like I say, it's kind of a nylon based uh, material inside and out. Here you've got a rubberized type uh, material that's, uh, I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera there, but there's a kind of sheen to it um, and it goes all the way through um, and there is uh, definitely kind of a, a waterproof protection all the way through the entire bag and no water is going to get through any of these seams. It's also got two point attachment system to the seat post. Um, I've got an aero seat post, so I'm always looking for something that's going to secure the most tightly. If I've got two points, fantastic. It kind of keeps give a bit of extra uh, strength, so hopefully have less rocking around. Uh, also, this material is reflective. Um, the wrapper bag has some fantastic kind of uh, brazen colors on it, uh, whereas the Aperture Dry has this kind of reflective material. So all the gray area all lights up against car lights. So that's a, a really important feature as well for me. Uh, similar price points. Um, like I say, this one's slightly lighter than this bag. Um, which one would I go for? I'm gonna go for the Aperture Dry just because I like to kind of grab my gear, throw it in. I'm not the most organized guy, so I'm just gonna kind of chuck stuff in and ride and if it starts raining which it probably will in the northern hemisphere here um, i just want to be kind of ensure that my gear is dry and don't really want to stop and i want to be confident that it's going to do that so would i have that same confidence with the rafa one i think i'd if i had an internal dry bag yes but i don't want all that faff um, i just want to probably have something that's not going to allow me to go so uh, the Apidura Dry, I think, wins out on that front. Okay, so I've attached the Apidura Dry, um, and it's looking pretty good. The bike's been out, um, and it's pretty well attached. It doesn't move around too much at two attachment points. Um, seems to be working pretty well. Um, and uh, all in all, the bag's been pretty solid. There's a few items in there to try and simulate a kind of overnight trip, maybe a longer trip, um, to try and give you a sense of the size, the scale. Uh, the lighting points I have to play, play around with because it's not sitting as I'd like it to, but all in all, uh, pretty pleased.